right, fourth grade, we're going to do lines and angles in action. Okay, so the previous day we talked about lines and angles and just learning what they are. Now we're actually going to try them out in different types of shapes and lines. All right, looks like we have a huge mess here, right? We've got different lines going in different directions. And then we also have different points on these lines. But as I look at them, I see, look, the little triangle, which shows me right here, is a 90 degree angle. I also see perpendicular lines, right? When two lines intersect that form right angles is perpendicular. I also want to point out that over here, these little symbols that are next to and on top of these letters are telling you what to look for. So this type of greater than, less than kind of looking sign, looks like a Pac-Man, means angle. And every time you see that in geometry, that means angle. Angle, D, H, G. So we need to find angle, D, H, D, G, on our picture here. And when I look at, at it right here, angle, D, H, G. This right here is an angle. And I just wanted to point out that that H is the middle and that's our vertex. So when we have that, this is telling me what kind of angle do we see there? Well, I see, I see a 90 degree angle or what we call a right angle. All right, then I see something else I see on the next one, GH. But then there is this line on top of it. But remember when we talked about lines, a line looks like that because it has two arrows. This, just plain old line with nothing at the end, means a line segment. So where would there be a line segment in our picture here? Well, it's located GH, which yes, that is correct because this here is a line. Remember I told you a line segment is part of a line. So it's in the between F and C. So it is GH, it's a line, and that is called a line segment. So let's write that in. GH is considered a line segment. Make sure you look for those, um, those, those clues that tells you on top of the letters what to look for. This always means lang angle. This means a line segment without the arrows. The next one we should know pretty well is when they have the arrows on both ends, it means a line. That means it goes on and on forever. So let's locate line FC, well right here, FC, line FC. So we would write line. This is a line. The next one I see is HD, but look at the symbol on top of it. It's just one line going in one direction, and that means it's a ray. So right now, H going this way to D is going in one direction forever, and that is cons considered a ray. All right? And then the last one, Again, look at the symbol. That symbol means an angle. It has three letters, which makes sense because this is one of the angles, this is the vertex, and this is the other part. So angle F, G, A. Well, let's find F, G, A. F, G, A. So this is considered, first of all, what kind of angle is F, G, A? Well, that is an obtuse angle because it's definitely greater than 90 degrees. All right, so let's go over and just review these again. These symbols are very important. Again, this thing that looks like it's a Pac-Man or a greater than lesson, that means an angle right over here and over here. That is symbol stands for angle. On top of two letters that has that sign there, it means a line segment. When you have a line that has the arrows, that's just simply called a line because it goes on and on forever. Then a ray, has one line with one arrow going in one direction forever and ever. And then when we make angles, we need two rays to be together, see? Here is one ray, and here's another ray. 
form together by this vertex to make an angle. All right, let's look at this quadrilateral. This is four, it's a polygon that has four sides. And we have one, two, three, four. And when we look at the shape, and this is kind of rounded off here, they want us to study this point right here. What kind of angle do you see at letter A? This When this point meets with this point, what do we see here? What kind of angle? Well, we know a 90 degree angle, right angle is 90 degrees. And anything less than that is what we call an acute. So this shape has an acute angle. And it has a cute angle here. But then if we look at these bottom two here, those bottom two are obtuse. Those are obtuse angles because they're larger than 90 degrees. Okay, check out this shape. Let's look at all those corners of that shape and try to see if we could tell what each of those parts mean. Well, over here it looks like an L and we know that this is either called a right angle or a 90 degree angle. Same thing for down here. We've got a right, which equals 90 degrees. On this corner here, now look, that's less than that L, right? Because that L would be like right here. So this is less than that. And we know when we say that, oh, you're so cute. We're talking about an acute angle because it's less than 90 degrees. And it looks like this one would be so cute also, an acute angle less than 90 degrees. And that last one, that is definitely that, that moose type of angle, big. And that is what we would call an obtuse angle. So now we're really trying to see those lines and those angles in action now in shapes and in different planes and figures that we're looking at. All right, what do we see here? Well, I see... If we're going to talk about lines and study the lines, I am looking at parallel lines. Which one is looking at, par look like parallel lines? Well, this line is parallel to this line. This line is parallel to this line. I also see 90 degree angles in this. Also, perpendicular lang angles. I mean, excuse me, lines over here is a 90, a 90 degree angle. And over here are acute angles because they're less than 90 degrees. If we look at the other shape, this is parallel to this shape, this line, excuse me. And this line is parallel to that line. And they're also forming, these are all obtuse angles. So, I mean, look how much we we're able to find in just simple shapes. We're able to find different types of lines, perpendicular, parallel, intersecting. We're finding 90 degree angles, acute and obtuse angles. This is what I mean by lines and angles in action. All right, let's mark this one up, this plane. We got different things happening here. Well, I see a line here and a line okay. here, which is telling me that these are parallel lines. So we have also parallel lines. We also have perpendicular lines. If you notice over here, remember perpendicular lines are intersecting lines, but we have this line and it intersects with this line. And when these intersecting lines cross each other like that, they form 90 degree angles right here's a 90 degree over here's a 90 here 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 wow this is definitely uh angles in action and we also this line here again let's review is parallel to this line and then we've got perpendicular lines happening in there and then within their making those perpendicular lines they form 90 degree angles in each one of those all right, let's give it your best and try some problems on your own. Lines and angles in action. What kind of angles do you see in this triangle? What kind of angles do you see in this four-sided polygon quadrilateral? 
Okay, awesome in math today, guys. G gave it your best, and we'll try more and practice these types of lines and angles in action. Great job.